There's a little hair's ear sedge pattern that I've been using for quite a number of years now and um, have found it fantastic for catching those sedge feeding fish during the summertime. And uh, during the summer evenings, pretty much any sedge pattern can be effective when the trout's in that frenzy. But um, I also find this one quite good during the day when they're just looking for a handy meal and along the margins and stuff and they're, they're looking up. As they say, it's been quite effective for me over the last couple of years. So to begin, I got to do Haku 301 size 16 in the vise. If you want to tie this on larger sizes, you can. 14, smaller sizes. 18s, it's just a good, simple, effective pattern. Tie it in whatever size you need to suit the sage hatch. I'm going to put a little hot orange tail there, glow break number 7. And I'm just going to double it up, tie it in there at the butt. And double it over again. So I got four strands of Glowbrite out the back of that fly. Trim it off nice and short. It's just a little tag there that can induce a take sometimes. So for the body of this fly, I'm just taking some natural hair's ear. Just teasing out small pinches of it. And just double it onto that thread. Make sure it's nice and tight. I like this nice and tight for the moment to dub on, and then I can brush it out afterwards to my own requirements. So, nice layer of that hair's ear, and I added another pinch. Just building up that body to what I want it to be. And I'm going to stop a little bit short of the eye of the hook. So now, once I got my body built up, I'm going to put in an underwing of natural deer hair. So I'm going to take in a couple of fibres of natural deer hair. And they're going to tie them in over the back. A little bit longer than the tail. Snip away my waist. <clears throat> so they're like so. Make sure they're well secure in. Then for my wing itself, I'm taking three natural CDC plumes and I'm placing them one on top of the other. Make sure the natural curvature of the feather is all the same. The tips are all in line with each feather. So we get that wing to sit down on top of the fly. Place it in there. Hopefully around the same length of deer hair went in. A couple of nice strong turns in there. And then take away your waist. Tidy all that up. And make sure it's well secured. Now, we don't necessarily want to leave that big large head. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to create a little dubbing brush. So I'm going to split my thread with my needle and I'm going to take some fox squirrel, a small pinch of fox squirrel mixed with UV spectra and I'm going to create a nice little dubbing brush in there. Once I got it in between my two thread strands, I then spin the dubbin, spin the dubbin, or the thread bobbin, creating that dubbin brush. 
so it'll almost be like a fox squirrel hackle going up in the front of this fly. Just stroking it back as you tie it in. Bringing it straight up to the eye hook. Once that's up there, take your whip finish and you can whip finish just off the eye hook. Tighten it all up. Take away your thread. And then As usual, I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush all that back, get some of those body fibers to come out, marry up into that CDC wing and that hack of fibers up at the front, the fox squirrel, just to fold back nicely with that. And also, anyone want it? Hair sticking below, can be just plucked off. And there you have it. Nice simple hair's ear sage. That's uh, very effective indeed. Hope you enjoyed the time and hope you enjoyed the fishing even more. Thanks for watching, see you soon.